Shoulder flexibility is something that's super important in gymnastics, especially that overhead um, position. So it's really important for handstands, um, anything tumbling, front handsprings, back handsprings, um, hanging on bars. So this is a really good exercise to help open up those shoulders and get that a little more flexible. Um, so you're gonna <clears throat> grab a broomstick, a PVC pipe, anything that you have readily available at home. Put your hands in under grip so your palms are up to the ceiling. Elbows are gonna go on, you can go on a chair, on a table or something, and then you're just gonna kinda lean back and push your armpits down to the floor with your head down. And we'll do that for three sets of 10 seconds each. The next exercise in the bridge series is gonna be bridge rocks back and forth. So you're just rocking your shoulders, trying to push them back towards the wall. And you're gonna do 10 of those. Uh, another important stretch in gymnastics is a bridge. It's really good for front handsprings and back handsprings. So this one, you're just gonna do a bridge with your hands and arms right up against the wall. And you're gonna do a 10 second hold, trying to push your armpits back towards the wall. This is a modified version of the bridge for those who have a little bit less flexible shoulders. So you can put your feet up on a raised surface like a couch or a chair or something and just hold there for 10 seconds. Uh, the handstand is one of the most important exercises in gymnastics. It's on pretty much every event. Um, so we have a lot of different variations. We got uh, a lot of headstands, which are really good for helping you get that body control. So we're gonna go over a lot of uh, headstand variations and then handstand variations too, so that you can master the handstand. The first progression in the headstand is a trod pod position. So you're gonna put your hands and head on the floor and then your knees on your elbows. And then the next step would be to go to a tuck position. So you're just bringing those knees together. Next, you're gonna go ahead and straighten one leg up to the ceiling. And then from there, you're gonna straighten out both legs. These are a little more difficult, but they'll help you um, get better control for your press handstands. So you're gonna do straddle toe taps. And then after that, a little bit harder is piked toe taps. So with those feet together, down and up. And lastly, um, if you were able to, the other headstand variations pretty easily, we have kind of a challenge. Uh, headstand push-ups. Uh, make sure you have a pillow or a couch cushion or something soft underneath your head. But you're gonna go from headstand and you're gonna use the wall and you're gonna push up to handstand. An elbow stand is the next variation. It makes it just a little bit harder than the normal headstand. So you're gonna do the same position in a tuck. And then from there, you're gonna straighten out one leg if that's too easy. And then if that's too easy from there, go ahead and straighten both legs and hold that. All right, next we're gonna do a tucked handstand with your shins up against the wall. And we're gonna really focus on pushing on the floor and keeping your back flat. After that, we're gonna move to a half handstand. Um, and then after you try the half handstand, if that's too easy. So same thing, try to get your shoulders underneath your bottom. And then if that's too easy, one leg in the air. Nice. Next, we're gonna do a handstand with our belly against the wall. See how long you can hold that. And then after that, we're gonna do handstand with our back against the wall. So kick up back that way. After that, we're gonna do some Spider-Man walks. So start with your hands out, feet against the wall, and then you're gonna walk your hands as close to the wall as you can get without falling over and then walk your hands back out. And then see if you can try to do more than one of those uh, if you're super strong. After that, we are gonna do handstand shoulder taps with our belly against the wall. So here, and then reach your hands up, tap your shoulders. Try and keep your belly nice and tight. Next, we have handstand split switches. So you're gonna walk your hands out, go back to that L position that we kind of did earlier, 
and then leg up, and then you're gonna try to switch and balance when you switch your legs. And then lastly, if you're really filling up for a challenge, we're gonna try some handstand push-ups. Again, try to put a pillow or a couch cushion underneath your head. You're gonna kick up, uh, balance against the wall, try to tap your head, and then push back up to a handstand.